Well, hello and welcome to today's webinar. This is Wesley Smith, your host with treeservicedigital.com. Uh, if you're on the YouTube channel watching this later, go ahead and like and subscribe to our channel. We're going to get into a very, very important piece of your digital marketing uh, in your local service for online marketing, for tree service, tree removal, land clearing, those types of searches. And today's topic is going to be about your paid ads. So a, a small part of your digital dominance uh, overall method of what you should be doing online. And this is kind of part of the paid ad section. Uh, sort of like your Google ads, but this is the Google local service ads in a different section uh, on the first page of Google search. So let me go ahead and share my slides with you guys so you guys can see what's going on here. And I hopefully learned something today. We've, we've put together some pretty good slides here, a couple little tricks and, and uh, tweaks here. Let me see if it'll show up there. If you're on the webinar, if you don't mind, if you can see my slides, would you pop in the chat? Yes. And just confirm that. Sometimes it's showing the window behind my slides and not actually the slides. And that way we'll know that uh, everybody can see the slides and all that stuff. Um, make sure we got the first page up here. All right. So if you could just pop in that chat real quick. Yes, you can see the slides. That way I know I'm not talking to a blank screen behind it there. All right, thanks for that, appreciate it. Uh, okay, we'll go ahead and get started. So today's webinar is gonna be about how to win with local service ads by Google. So this is on the first page of Google search. Um, when people do searches for tree service near me or tree removal, there's several places that you wanna show up. And this is kind of one of the newer places. It's been around for a few years now, but not in all markets. And so in most markets, it is available nowadays. And, and, and it started kind of with the major metropolitan areas like New York or Atlanta or Houston or Los Angeles. And then slowly but surely, they've, they've kind of merged this in with the tier two and tier three towns and cities as well. So a smaller city, like two or 300,000 population. So these are all the way across the country. They're coast to coast from Washington down to the tip of Florida up to the Northeast. And they really, really help brand your company. It's almost like a digital billboard at the very top of the page. There is a verification and a vetting process. So my goal is to kind of show you those things as we go through the slides to make it easier on you uh, as you try to navigate this yourself. Or of course, we're here to help you with implementation. Uh, but this is one of the sections of the digital dominance method that we go over, um, which is basically, you know, your your, your whole internet presence in your local area, how to get the best results, how to get the most inbound leads from people doing these searches already, right? They're gonna call somebody, it may as well be your tree company. And so that's what we have, um, you know, here the digital dominance method. This is number two, a small piece of the overall digital dominance method. If you wanna see everything on the digital dominance method, uh, the online marketing plan for 2022 goes over all these sections. If you're interested in that, we did that earlier in the year. Um, your 2022 internet marketing strategy for tree service. And that's a previous webinar, a previous YouTube video. You can check that out. But this is just a small section today about your paid ads, which is partly Google ads, the traditional Google AdWords. Those are kind of at the top of the page. And then these Google local service ads commonly refer to Google guaranteed. It's kind of a tongue twister saying Google guaranteed, but we'll try to get through that today four or five times. But this is part of the paid ad section. So I wanted to show you that. So this is going to be how to win with local service ads by Google. Uh, but I need your attention, please. Uh, if you are serious about doubling or tripling the leads that you pull from Google paid search for tree service, then the next 20, 30 minutes are crucial. I'm going to show you a few things. What's working today? We've got over 70 clients coast to coast, most of which we're doing paid ads for uh, as well. So I wanted to show you that. So just try to try to pay attention and get a couple of these tidbits because I promise you it's going to help your business moving forward. So here's what we're going to cover today. Um, what Google local services is, we're going to cover where it's active. We're going to cover how it works, how you can jump on board if you have not already. What it takes to rank in the top three results of the Google local service ads and how you can take advantage of high quality leads at a lower cost per lead and maximize your return on investment to truly win with local service ads in your community, in your area online. Uh, who am I and why should you listen to me? Maybe you're asking yourself that. Maybe this is the first time you've seen one of our webinars. Thank you so much for being here today. We really enjoy doing this. And again, we, we're serving over 70 tree service customers across the country. Uh, but I've been in the internet marketing space for over 10 years now uh, with a prior business and with my own agency. Um, where the, I'm also the author of how to win with internet marketing for tree service contractors. We have a paperback copy. I can 
happily mail to you for free. If you want to respond to one of the email invites to this webinar, happily uh, mail you out a copy, or you can buy it on Amazon Kindle for $1.99. Get instant gratification and download that puppy right today. Uh, we specialize in tree service contractor internet marketing. So that's all we do. So we've got a lot of specialized knowledge in the niche online doing this every single day. We leverage that data for each new client. Uh, we have expert web development and digital marketing team. Uh, and we've worked with dozens and dozens and dozens of tree service contractors across the United States. And we know what works to generate a flood of new business as this particular topic of this webinar, Google local service ads. Uh, here's some of our, our clients we're working. Uh, we've worked with over 100 tree service business owners now to date. Uh, this is Brady Tree Care, Clean Cuts Trees, Green Acres, Oasis Tree Care, Schneider Shrub and Tree Cares. We've worked with lots and lots and lots of tree service companies across the United States. Uh, we're also members uh, of ISA and member of TCIA as well, some of the associations that you're probably a part of too. And this is all we do. This is what we eat, sleep, and breathe every single day is tree service marketing uh, with you know, your web development, your SEO, your Google Maps, your reputation, Google reviews, Yelp, Bing, Yahoo, Facebook reviews, paid ads on Google, Yahoo, and Bing, uh, retargeting on social media, and Google local service ads, which we're going to be discussing today. This is all we do. So what is Google local services? You may be asking yourself, like, I, I think I've heard of that, but I'm not real sure what it is. So what happens is when somebody's online or they're in their local area, let's say they're on their smartphone, right? They're on their phone and they type in tree service near me and they want to see some tree service companies, tree service companies near me, tree removal near me, tree removal companies near me, whatever. What happens when they do that search, it triggers these ads at the very top of the page. Now, if these are in your local market. They usually are, but in some small rural areas outside of major metropolitan areas, sometimes they're not, but typically they are nowadays. It's pretty spread across, vastly across the US now, but you'll see these first top ads up here. And you may have seen them and gone, what, how do I get up to the very, very top of the page? Well, these are called Google local service ads. That's just what they call them. So Google LSA for short, uh, a lot of people call them Google guaranteed because you can see this little guaranteed green check mark. And what that simply means is, is that this company has been verified and background checked as a legitimate Google or a legitimate local tree service company. They've got a business license. They have a proof of insurance. They've done a personal background check on the owner and some of the, um, you know, important uh, field techs and things like that. So that's really what what this means when it has that green badge next to it. And that's something that, you know, is, is really, really important uh, when it comes to people's like reputation and things like that. So um, what I wanted to show you with that part is, is these are the ads below that, but this actually shows up on top even higher than that. So it's, it's actually the top spot. And, and the benefit of this is too, is if you have really good Google reviews and a great reputation, what this does when you get verified is it pulls in all of those reviews that you've already gotten on your Google map platform. And it puts them right here in your Google guaranteed ad at the top of the page. So it's literally like a billboard on the first page of Google. It's a very, very, very top. So if you've got good reviews and I would say work on those Google reviews, that's a whole separate webinar. But if you work on those Google reviews and get those really, really amped up, get a large quantity of them and good high rating, because uh, eventually you're going to get a bad one, right? So you may as well work on 10, 20, 50 good five-star reviews. That way, if you get one bad one, it's not going to hurt your overall ranking, but they're going to show it in the top spot majority of the time because you've got so many Google reviews. And guess what? Google wants to show the most relevant results on that first page of the top of the search page. So that's what it looks like right there at the top. You may have seen them. And uh, why does it matter? Well, 87% of consumers search Google when looking for home service providers. So think tree service, think roofers, think plumbers, you know, think anybody, right? That's, that's really what they're looking for. Uh, they're looking for online. So number one place where your customers are looking when they need your tree services. Local service ads comes up first in the search results, uh, which we just sh showed on the previous slide. So super important that you get there and get verified because that's where the calls are going to come from. A lot of them are going to come from right there. There's no higher intent prospect than the customer who is proactive looking for your services at that moment in time. You must have a plan to win with Google local services. So once you get verified and you get online and your ads are showing, uh, you do have to have a plan and you do have to manage the local service ads dashboard just a little bit. It doesn't take a ton of time, 
but you do have to manage that dashboard. So here's where it's active. You may be wondering, is it in my area? But a good way to find out is just like we did before. Just go to your Google search bar on your phone or on your desktop computer, laptop computer, whatever, and type in tree service your city, tree trimming your city, tree removal your city, tree removal near me if you're sitting in that city, and just see what results pop up at the, at the top of the page up there. If you do see them, then they are active in your market, which is a positive. That way you can definitely get those running in your market. So that's where it's active. It's coast to coast typically. Um, and how it impacts the search results is again, it's the first result at the very, very top of the page. And it pulls in all of your Google business listing, your Google map listing reviews and testimonials right into this dashboard. So it just showcases your reputation. It makes you stick out really big at the top. And that reputation is very, very important when it comes to these ads. So here's how Google Local Services works. You must complete the Google Local Services application. So once you get onboarded, we got a process for this for our clients, but once you get onboarded with them, they're gonna need, you know, um, they'll run a background check on the owner and they don't do it for all employees for tree services, luckily. Some niches like locksmith or plumbing, they have to run it on a lot of different technicians and stuff like that, the background check. But with tree services, luckily they only need to do the background check on the owner. Um, but they're gonna look for your business license check, uh, background via Pinkerton Consulting, and the proof of insurance as well has to be uploaded into the account just to make sure you're a verified business owner, verified company, right? You're not a phony company just trying to generate leads for another tree company to, to sell them to them or something like that. They want to make sure you're an actual legitimate company. And it's usually the business owner only with tree service. Once approved and if it's active in your area, you will pay on a per lead basis which is unlike the regular Google ads, right? The regular Google ads, you pay per click. With Google local service ads, Google guaranteed, you pay per call or pay per verified lead, which a lot of people like better. We've seen between 15 bucks a lead up to $55 per lead, but expect those prices to shift. You know, they go back and forth depending on how many people are advertising in your local market. So what we've seen over the past probably six months to a year is that Google changes their requirements sometimes in certain states. So what happens is if the, if the businesses in that state have not submitted their updated credentials for this verification process, their ads go offline and there's nobody verified in that market. So with our clients get verified at that moment, they may be the only one or maybe one of two or three companies doing Google local service ads. And you can literally clean house at that point because there's nobody else online. So some states require certain certifications and business licenses and contractor licenses. So, you know, we'll have to check or you just can check your, your own local state when you try to get set up with that. Um, and it'll tell you there. But yeah, price will vary by city and by industry. How are you charged for Google local service ads? Well, what you do is you set a weekly budget in the dashboard that limits the total number of leads you receive in any given week. Example, like if you're good with spending $2,000 a month, then what you would do is you would set it at $500 per week um, and you would set it at $71 per day is typically what the max would be on that particular monthly budget. Uh, so the cost per lead would be roughly 35 bucks, 57 leads per month, 14 leads per week, two per day. And Google actually will show you based on how many advertisers are in the area. When you set your budget, for example, for $500 a week, it'll tell you you can expect you know 10 to 14 leads per week because they already know the search volume in that area they know how many people are advertising. Therefore, they kind of know the average cost per lead. So they'll kind of put that in the dashboard. It's just kind of a, a ballpark figure. It's not highly accurate, but it'll kind of let you know. Um, you may get a different number of leads from day to day, but you never spend more than your designated weekly budget, similar to the Google Ads platform. Um, you have the ability to immediately dispute leads if you receive a lead that's not valid. So the cool thing about Google local service ads they do have a little bit easier way to dispute a lead. So if you get a bad call, spam call, dead air call, robo call, salesperson call, you can dispute it and not pay for it, which is nice. Uh, what leads don't count? So if you look right here, uh, a call is from a wrong number. If it was a solicitation, they don't count. If it was a spam call, they don't count. Location not served, so you don't service the location that the call came in from. Uh, service not offered. So they call about a service that you don't even offer. Somehow or another, they found your ad and you don't even need to, you don't even do that service. So feedback from active users is pretty positive. Uh, it's a lower cost per lead than the traditional Google ads in the majority of the markets. So it does pay to get up there and to get verified. 
uh, higher quality leads than Home Advisor, Angie's List, Thumbtack, things like that. Uh, you still get some price shoppers and have to follow up quickly with people when they do call. Um, solid return on investment for most of the clients who have jumped on board for sure. Um, why is this a no brainer for most tree service contractors? Uh, this is a paid ad section at the top of the page. Let me tell you why. Because when you get verified up there, it shows you at the very, very tip top of the search results where your clients are looking the most. So when somebody does a search on their, on their computer or if they do a search on their phone, the first set of results, like the first result at the very top of the page, that's where these Google local service ads show up. And so you want to be right there. You're just going to get the benefit of the doubt if you show up there. In addition to that, it's going to pull in your Google reviews, and that way it's going to show your Google reviews and your reputation right there. So they're going to more than likely call you if you have a good reputation and a lot of reviews. It's just a no-brainer because they're going to give you a call. You only pay on a per-lead basis. This is why it's a no-brainer as well. Uh, lower cost per lead than traditional Google ads, pay-per-click. Uh, higher quality leads than HomeAdvisor or Angie or Thumbtack or anything else. The ability to modify your budget based on schedule, increase or decrease as needed. So you may be asking yourself, how do I get set up? Sounds pretty good. What do I got to do to get set up? Well, if you work with us, we support you. We'll help you get onboarded and get that set up. No worries. It's just part of our first month onboarding process. But if you want to sign up yourself, sign up for Google Local Services. If you go to Google search, um, you could type in Google local service ads and just hit search and you'll see the same link right here. I'm not able to, let me see, maybe I can paste it in the chat. Oops, looks like it just pulled up the, um, here we go. So I'll pop it in the chat, actually. If you guys have any questions, I'll pop this in the chat, this link, if you want to sign up for Google local service ads or just see if it's available in your area. Uh, I'll just posted that in the chat. So it's sitting there for you. Um, but you can connect with more customers. So once you click on it, you'll go to this page right here and then you'll kind of get onboarded and start signing up. Um, but it's ads.google.com forward slash local dash services dash ads. So it's in the chat if you're live today. If not, and you're watching this later on a recorded version on YouTube or you're hearing it on the podcast, just go straight to Google search and search Google local service ads and do a search and you'll find the same link right there that's the easiest way to explain how to find it uh, so how does the ranking work up there so if you want to get at the very top and be at those very very top results um here's what you got to do your proximity to potential customers locations so what google local service Ads is trying to do is serve the most local community the most local audience so if you think about it this way if somebody types in tree service near me Google wants to show the most localized results to that person standing in that particular coordinate where they're standing at. So if they're standing at, you know, 123 Main Street, they want to show the closest tree service companies to 123 Main Street to that person that does the search. So a lot of the, the lead flow is going to come in from really local results because they're trying to showcase local tree service companies when consumers do those searches so that they stay on their Google platform, right? Um, so that's where that's going to be. Your review score and the number of reviews you receive. So the other thing that helps ranking is how many reviews you have, right? Do you have a lot of Google map reviews, Google business listing reviews? Because remember, those get pulled right into your Google local service ads dashboard. So the more reviews you get, the better you're going to be everywhere. You're going to be better off in the SEO section of the maps. The map's going to show up more often because you've got a very, very high rating with a ton of reviews. That means other people are saying that you're a great company, right? Not just you or not just five people, but 50 people or 100 people or 300 people have given you a review. That is powerful for the SEO, for the maps, and for your Google local service ads ranking. And the next thing is that helps your ranking is your responsiveness to customer inquiries and requests. So if you get calls, make sure you answer those calls from Google local service ads because they track it. Google tracks how many calls are coming in versus how many are missed how many you're taken and how many you mark as booked or sold or whatever completed. So if you have a bunch of missed calls, they're going to slowly start moving your ad rank down a little bit because they want people to answer the phone to take those leads. Your business hours. So make sure your business hours are you know wide open. If you don't want it to be just eight to five or nine to five, you want it to be 24 hours. Make sure you reflect that in your settings there of your profile. Whether or not we've received serious or repeated complaints about your business. So if they've not received any complaints, 
for serious repeated offenses or anything like that, you're going to continue to show. Uh, in addition to these ranking factors, Google will attempt to spread out the leads you receive over time, right? They don't want to just give them to one company if 10 companies are willing to pay for these Google guaranteed calls. So they're going to spread the love a little bit. They're going to give it to a lot of different people that are paying for the budget, trying to get the calls coming in. So this is to prevent you from spending your entire budget early in the budget period, right? So if you say you're willing to spend $2,000 a month, that's why they spend it per week divided by four. So that'd be 500 bucks a week because they don't want you to spend all of your budget in one week, even if it could be super busy. And that's because there's other companies that need leads too and that want to pay for the leads too. If your ad is generating leads more quickly than your budget can accommodate, you may see your ranking affected for a little bit because you've already exhausted your budget for the week, right? So if you've already exhausted your budget for the week and you've gotten tons of calls, they may start moving your ad down a little bit ranking wise, just because you've already hit your budget for the week. You've gotten your, your weekly fill, you've gotten your calls. So, or they could be paused temporarily in order to more evenly spread out the leads. Um, so this is how to win with Google local service ads, um, how to win. Let's show you how to win real quick on this particular platform. This is what we see works the best with our clients across the country. So dial in your service area, your profile, and your budget. So if you've got a service area that you cover and you're in your main area, right? That's where your flag's in the ground. That's where your shop address is or your home address, wherever you're working out of or what's your you know, Google My Business address. Uh, make sure you select other nearby cities and towns as well if you're willing to travel because that'll help open it up a little bit more too, especially if you're not hitting your budget. Um, you know, make sure your profile is updated, update some images on there. You can actually upload some uh, photos on there, just kind of like you do in the Google Maps section. You know, it's called your Google My Business, Google Business Listing. You can upload photos in there. You can do the same thing here. And that just really helps optimize it as well. So mark your jobs as booked. So a lot of people just literally get calls and they never go into their Google Business Dashboard, their Google Local Service Dashboard, and they don't really itemize the calls, right? Well, Google likes to see people itemizing the calls, what we found. And so what happens is if you go in there and mark them as booked, mark them as archived, mark them as spam or dispute the calls, Google knows you're actively like, you know, managing this account. And that's really going to help deal with disputes. Let me show you what that looks like here. So if you're in your local service ads account, you see right here, like, let's say you're in your account and you've got these calls, right? So when you go here, you can click on it. Oops, looks like I just got logged out there. Anyways, you can actually manage your account um, when you're in there. So you want to mark each call as booked. You know, that means you booked an appointment. You want to mark it as spam and then hit dispute. And what they'll do is just not charge you for that lead at the end of the day or the end of the week or reimburse you for it if you do it within a 30 day period. Uh, so just make sure you manage that. There's especially if you're getting a ton of calls, if you're getting like 30, 50, 100 calls a month in your Google local service account, make sure you're managing that flow inside your dashboard because Google, they'll kind of stop showing your ads more if you're not in there checking off booked or you know missed calls or disputing ones that are spammy calls. Um, so drive verified reviews, that also helps you win. So the more reviews you get on your Google map for your Google My Business listing and the reviews for Google Guaranteed. So the cool thing about the dashboard is in the Google local service ads is you can actually, as soon as a call comes in, um, you can you can hit you know request a review. So once you once you actually mark the job as complete on there, you can actually send a review right through the Google Local Service Ads dashboard to request that customer to give you a quick review. So that's really good too. It's another place you can actually get reviews uh, you know piling up is request them through the Google Local Service Ads platform, and that just it just basically when somebody gives you a review, it goes right to your Google Map listing, so it shows in both places. Uh, target an 85% booking rate in the reporting. So make sure you get 85% booking rate. You don't want to be not marking those as booked if you're taking those calls, scheduling appointments and estimates. You want to mark those as booked because Google wants to know that you're taking the calls, you're able to set the appointment and you're able to go out there and give an estimate. That's what they want to see because if not, they want to send those calls to somebody else who is paying attention and answering the phone which is the reason why you want to manage this online account or have somebody else do it so that it gets done. But dial in your profile. This is one of our accounts here, one of our clients. Uh, so you want to make sure you got your home postal code from your Google business listing, from your Google Maps, and then just basically set up uh, all of your, your services that you do. You know, your tree removal, tree trimming and pruning. If you do tree planting, if you do tree 
uh, relocating, if you do stump removal, land clearing, some of these things may fall under landscaping uh, in certain categories and in certain markets. But for the most part, it's the typical tree service uh, type services. And you can just select those and make sure that you get only what you want. Now, we also have clients that don't want to get any tree trimming and tree pruning leads. They only want tree removal. So you can select just tree removal, right? If you only do tree trimming and pruning, you're not set up for tree removal or you don't want to remove trees, you just want to do, you know, tree trimming and pruning and shaping and stuff like that, you can just select that, which is the good thing about it. So, and you can see right here, see what, when we put down average weekly budget, $700, um, I'm, hopefully you can see this, the weekly target would be between 80, 18 and 46 leads per week. So they'll kind of give you a range based on your budget that you're willing to spend. And that's what it'll show right there. So, you know, you could, you could crank that up to a thousand a week. You could you know, reduce it down to $200 a week if you want to. Um, so dial in your profile, make sure you set your budget, open it up. If you have capacity, these are cost effective leads. So if you've got a budget for this, keep opening it up and expanding it. If you're getting like really kind of low lead, lead flow count, uh, coming in from it, open up your budget, make some tweaks. And sometimes we see that kind of helps uh, open up the lead flow. Update your ad schedule. So maybe expand the hours instead of nine to five, maybe do 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. See how that works. Especially in the summer months, you know, a lot of people get off work at five or six. So they may get home at six, 6.30 and still kind of look around and say, oh, I need to get some tree service work done. Let me make some calls. Well, if you set your schedule to 5 p.m. and that's it, well, after six, seven, eight o'clock, you're not going to get any calls. So that person's going to click on somebody else's ad and call them because they're open and their ads are being shown at that time. So just remember that in the summertime, people are, you know, it's usually daylight until nine o'clock on the East Coast anyway, probably uh, central time as well. So, and, and maybe even across the United States, I think it gets dark a little earlier on the West Coast, but update your ad schedule, set up your business bio and, you know, make sure you've got everything filled out in your, in your bio area for the profile. Uh, that way it's just thorough and it's done. Um, select your job types, make sure you got the tree removal selected, make sure you got the tree trimming and pruning selected, um, land clearing selected, uh, stump removal if you want those. A lot of people don't want to pay for those leads. They do them if they get the tree removal, but otherwise they don't. Some people are set up for stump removal. They got the actual equipment and they're ready to go out there and do it. Uh, set up your service area. So another thing you can do to attempt to get more lead flow is just increase your service area. So select more nearby towns and update your business hours. I think we went to that, it's kind of under ad schedule and add photos. Guys, make sure you add some photos in there. Use a personality photo as the primary uh, and then just keep uploading photos inside your account. So the lead summary here is a potential customer, mark your jobs as booked. So make sure you go in there and mark the jobs as booked if they are booked. And maybe you, you don't know which ones you've booked and which ones you haven't. At least go in here once a week or once every two weeks and just mark these jobs as booked that look like you're actually doing something inside the platform. It just really, really helps because it shows them that you're actively managing the account. So mark them as booked. Google will rate your responsiveness by how well you complete your jobs. Mark them as booked and scheduled. Uh, add the customer details. Include an email address. This is the way you request a Google review too is you add the customer email address. Um, archive non-converted opportunities. So if you didn't answer the phone or didn't get that, that lead booked, um, go ahead and just mark it um, as archive. So deal with disputes too. So if somebody calls and it's not a real lead, mark it as a dispute, click on that, and then you're good to go because they'll just not even charge you for that lead. So deal with those disputes, you won't be charged. Uh, if it's outside your area, not a service you provide, um, or anything similar. So drive verified reviews to work on the reviews. So make sure you get in there and uh, get verified reviews. If people if you do jobs for, make sure you send a review request. They'll literally click on the link and then leave your review and then you're good to go. You'll have a review on your maps and a review on your Google guaranteed listing. And the reason being is because the Google guaranteed syncs up with your maps. So make sure you drive verified reviews. Um, the number of reviews as a major driver of your ranking and local services. Provide a great service. As always, you don't want to get complaints. That's going to be a negative impact on there for you. Uh, leverage the dashboard to drive verified reviews by entering name, email, and quick um, the request review button. That really helps get those people that did the job that you did the jobs for to get a request. They click on it and they can leave you a quick review. That really, really helps. 
So when you're in there, what you can do is like you did the job, you can click in an email address for the customer if you have it, put the customer name in there. Um, you can select tree trimming and pruning, tree removal, and then click, I confirm the customer agreed to receive this email, click send request, and boom, they get a request to um, leave a review for you. And that's really, really powerful. So you can see the Google reviews right here. Google verified, unclock, like, you know, it'll show you the reviews that come in from those people that you did the jobs for. And these will also sync up and post to your Google Maps, which is awesome. So target an 85% booking rate. So if you're in there, uh, this is kind of an important number. So make sure you target 80 to 85% booking rate on these leads that come in. And, and the reason is, is just Google wants to make sure you're answering the phone, going on the appointments, booking the calls and the jobs. Uh, they, they don't want those going to a company that's not answering the phone or taking care of the customer, right? So when you mark these as booked more often than not, like a large percentage of them, it's gonna be positive for you and they're gonna show your ad more often. So right here, same thing. You see this one's got only a 56% booking rate. So make sure you increase that and try to get that to 80, 85% booking rate. That's gonna have a, a, a positive impact um, on your ads and showing the ads more often. So how to increase lead flow from local services. Uh, so I think we discussed this a little bit on the previous slide, but open up your budget, right? The simplest answer is just be willing to spend more money. Um, expand your service areas, job types, ad schedule, and business hours. Close out every lead booked, scheduled, or archived. Request verified reviews on every job. If you're getting reviews consistently on there and you've got a good enough budget, and you're getting, you know, you're answering the calls, you're, you're managing the account, uploading photos in there and everything else, Google's gonna show yours over everybody else. So here's what you should do right now if you wanna get signed up for local service ads. So get with your strategy partner on our team. If you're working with us, if you're on this live webinar today and you're one of our current clients, uh, it's good to see you today, but if you want, just get with your strategy partner, your account manager on our team, and we'll help you get onboarded to this, but it's ads.google.com forward slash local services, or just go right there to the chat. And I posted the link right there in chat. You can click on that. That's how you sign up for Google local service ads. Bookmark that link, save that link. Uh, this will be a game changer for your business if you get at the top of Google search uh, for these tree trimming, tree removal, land clearing, all those types of searches in your area. Um, and it just kind of makes you stand apart from everybody else, right? You're a verified background checked, guaranteed Google certified tree service company in your local market. And that's just another uh, reputation factor that people are looking for. They're looking for trust. They want to know they're not going to get ripped off. They want to know that, you know, you're on the up and up as a business. So it really, really helps if you get verified in there. If you have the budget to do marketing and you're already doing marketing, this is literally a no brainer because it's a lower cost per lead than most other channels. Complete your background checks after you get signed up. Uh, it's a Pinkerton background check. Put the tracking in place to gauge your return on investment. Uh, be sure that you're leveraging the platform to close jobs and you're updating that platform as you go through. This is big because if you don't update it, you don't show how many calls you're booking or how many spam calls come in or disputing those calls, Google's gonna know you're not really tracking it. You're not really that active. You're maybe not even answering the phone, especially if they see a ton of missed calls in your account. They see a lot of missed calls in your account and they know because they put a tracking number on this ad. So the ad tracking number basically tells them how often you're answering the phone or missing the call. So you wanna make sure you answer it. So play the game while the return on investment makes sense. And we see that in most markets that we're operating in right now, the ROI does make sense. Um, so I would, I would definitely get set up for it. Again, it's a digital billboard. So it not only generates leads for you, but it also brands and markets your company and your reputation right at the very top of that search page. This is like being on your major highway in your local town or city and having a big humongous billboard overpass over the freeway that says XYZ tree service with your rating on Google and a big green check badge right there. So that's very, very powerful for branding your company and getting additional lead flow coming in because this is even better than a billboard in my opinion because people are actually doing a search for tree services at the moment that they see your digital billboard here on Google local services. Whereas on the freeway, they may not be looking for tree services at the moment, right? They're coming home from work or they're going to work or they're doing something on the weekend and they see your billboard. That's great. That's good for branding, but they're not necessarily looking for your services at that moment. 
Whereas online, that's a big high intent search because they're looking to get the work done when they see your billboard. So very, very powerful, um, really no brainer to get that done. So it really is part of the digital dominance method. Again, we go over all of this with our clients and on our other webinars. Uh, again, our, your 2022 tree service internet marketing plan overall was a previous webinar we did this, this year, actually earlier this year, uh, January or February. So it's on the YouTube channel. It's also uh, on the podcast, the audio is. Uh, but we go through all this stuff, and this is number two under your paid ad marketing. So it's very powerful. Um, if you guys want to, you know, get a review of your local market, we're happy to do this for free for you. I am. Uh, so you can give me a call at the number here, 770-637-3707. That's our office line. We're happy to take down your information, schedule a call with you, go over your local market. If this is available for you and how this kind of ties into the rest of your marketing, maybe where you're, uh, where you're located today online, kind of look at that, look at your competition, uh, or you can find out more at treeservicedigital.com. We'll go over everything for you all the different things that you're looking to do to kind of grow your business, get more inbound lead flow and just win on the internet. Um, so, but hopefully you got some, some good nuggets out of this, this webinar today. We're just finding that Google local service ads plays a huge role in our client success online because it's such a big part of the top results of the first of the search page. So um, if you're not there and you do have a marketing budget, then I would suggest getting verified and getting set up there. Either go to the link that's in the chat box there or if you're watching this on the YouTube channel, please subscribe to our channel. we got more videos coming up. But if you're watching on YouTube or listening to it on the podcast, just go to Google and do a search for Google local service ads. Pull up that link, get signed up, and um, you will, you'll be on your way to get a lot more inbound lead flow in your local market on the internet. All right. Well, if anybody has any questions and you want to work uh, with us or just maybe find out what we can do to help you grow your business, Again, give me a call, 770-637-3707, or go to treeservicedigital.com. Happy to help you out, show you what's working around the country for our other clients, and uh, go from there. Hope everybody has a great weekend, and if you want to catch the replay, if you didn't get to catch all of this, it'll be on YouTube. Uh, it'll also be on the podcast coming up shortly, so hope you guys have a great day, and we will talk to you soon. Thank you.